beans. Do you want to go outside? Good morning, guys. I thought today I would film a little day off in the life vlog. Um, I was on call this weekend, and so Saturday was pretty bad. I was basically there all night. And then yesterday I went in from 7 to, I think, like around 10, and then I never got called back in. So I was able to catch up on my sleep, and today I'm completely off, and then tomorrow I actually start clinical. Right now I'm just hanging out with beans outside. I still have to make my coffee this morning. I think I want to start some laundry. I need to order groceries and then I need to start my reading or finish my reading I've already started it I want to go to a yoga class the class I want to go to is at 4 15 p.m. and then I also have like a school teams meeting at 5 30 so I'd kind of be pushing it if I went to the yoga class I might just have to log into my phone which would be fine but yes that's the plan for today sorry if i'm so monotoned right now um just being on call sucks and saturday night was so bad like anyway had a yeah i won't get into it it's 8 30 right now um john actually let me sleep in this morning he took beans on walk and fed her and all that because she gets up at like 6 30. she's a rise and shine kind of girl These are for sure the best espresso pods. Um, double shot Scuro. They're like a dark brown. My cups are too big, so I have to hold it here. I used to always just mix this up with a spoon or a fork. And then one day John was making my coffee for me and he used like our electric whisker and it like kind of foamed it up, which I don't know if you guys remember, there was a TikTok trend where you would foam up um, coffee. Um, I'm sure if you keep doing it, it would foam it up. But anyway, so ever since then I started doing it because I like like the little foam it gives, especially with having the sugar and the cinnamon in there, it gives the foam like a flavor. I've never had the like Starbucks cold foam stuff just because I'm vegan. I don't drink milk and I don't really know if you can do it with non-dairy milks. I'd never tried um, but that's what I imagine that would taste like. So if any of you guys tries it and you've had the cold foam stuff, let me know. I basically just whisk it until the sound changes. So let me get you guys closer. Maybe you can hear the sound change that I'm talking about. Don't know if you could hear that. The sound change, um, I kept hitting the sides of the um, the cup, which was making that like, the hitting of the cup, you know, can't talk right now, um, which I usually don't do that because I'll use both of my hands, but I was obviously holding the camera with one. But the sound change is basically, it goes from like you hearing it whisk to it's like silent. So anyway, that's usually when I stop whisking it. After doing all that, then I'll add my eyes. I would do the ice last because if you're trying to mix stuff up like the sugar and the cinnamon when it's cold it doesn't mix very well and then I'll top it off with oat milk um, I had to get this from Walmart because we hadn't gone grocery shopping so but usually I'll use Oatly I love doing it this way because then it really makes oh let me turn this way because of the light then it really makes like the separation between everything and I just feel like it looks so pretty. I mean, obviously we're gonna stir it around, but you know, it's still fun. Favorite meal of the day, serving it up Gary's way. <laughs> Okay, another thing I need to do today is redo this calendar. Clearly, we're well into September and I'm 
very far behind. We like the calendar because my obviously work schedule is different every day and yeah it's usually just nice to see what's going on what we have going on for the week remind us of anything i'm pretty sure that this next schedule period i will be working every monday friday and i will be starting at 7 30 um so that'll make it easy i have clinical every tuesday wednesday thursday and that's gonna be my life for the next 10 weeks so this is my last Monday off until like, my gosh, who knows when, because I don't even know if she'll give me, oh, I need my phone. Have to ping authenticate that I'm logging in. But yeah, so like I said, I don't know when I'll have a Monday off again, which really sucks because I, I love having Mondays off. They're just so nice, like. I just realized I messed this up because there's apparently only 30 days in September. I don't know why it felt like a 31 day type of month, but good thing I was checking with my schedule there because that's where I noticed that Saturday is actually the 5th. And there is my month for review. So fun. And this is the door to our garage. And it just sits right here. Oh, freak. Okay, that was really hard to do with only one hand. It looks crooked on here, but it's not. Maybe it's my camera that's crooked. <laughs> Okay, so now it is 9.01 and really quick, I'm gonna get on Pinterest to look for some recipes. Um, make a quick little list and then order groceries for today. Okay, so usually what I'll do is I'll bring up mine and John's shared note list. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on Pinterest and I go to my vegan eats one right here and then I'll just pick um, I don't know some recipes. We did this recipe last time and it was so good. That was actually like one of my favorite um, this Cajun pasta with sausage and peppers. And also sometimes if I am not finding anything I like, I'll just go to the, like one of my favorite peoples, which this girl I like a lot. I'll go to her post and then usually at the bottom, it'll have like, you might also like, and that's how we find a lot of our recipes sometimes. Right now I'm gonna probably not look for new recipes. I wanna just do something that we know how to do quick and easy. Oh, we did these also, and these were so good. Once we find a recipe we like, it's pretty easy to just like tweak it and add our own stuff. So these like chicken, egg, buffalo chicken egg rolls, we really liked, but we were like, oh, next time it would be good with like just barbecue sauce. So, and we have the papers left over, the egg roll papers. Um, so maybe I'll get stuff for that and then we can do that again. But once I find a recipe I like, I'll usually favorite it. Um, and then I'll just keep looking and then I'll favorite them. The best recipes will have the ingredients like all right here. Okay guys, so I have been doing my reading. I finished one chapter, started the next one, but now I'm getting hungry. It's 11.41, I haven't eaten anything today besides my coffee, which is generally how it goes. Oh, <laughs> let me pause my music. Oh, also I closed all the windows in here because it gets so hot when the sun is coming out or whatever. So I just close it down. So it's a little dark in here, but I don't feel like I need to turn any lights on, but that's why it's looking a little weird. Jeez. Oh, I've been thinking too long, it says. I think I'm just gonna have spaghetti. water my plants um i'll do this every once in a while for them just because 
they need a little something something because yeah they're just like looking so sad which i mean it's not just because they're hungry or whatever but they're just asking to be watered so bad so it's like the smallest amount that you have to put in there Okay, I haven't wiped my counters, so don't come at me for that. But I think I'm also going to insert these little sticky things to catch any like fruit fly bugs. For some reason, there's just been so many recently. I've had some of these plants for like over five years. Like I can't remember the last time I got a new plant. So they've all been here forever. And I've never noticed like these fruit fly bugs until like a few weeks ago. They just were so bad. Um... Anyway, so I bought these off Amazon. I put them in some plants, but it's just a, a take, it's a process, okay? So I'm gonna try to do that as I'm watering. Oh, you kidding me? Okay, I think I found the freaking culprit. I went to water that and literally five million little bugs shot out. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put it out there. Um, I'm hoping that the heat will literally just kill those bugs. There was literally so many bugs that came out like, and one was crawling on me. Oh, and then, well, they're not bugs. They're just like those fruit flies, but I've never felt one crawl on me. And I'm like, literally have cold chills everywhere now. Oh! I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul before I go to yoga. Um, hopefully you can hear me behind all of that noise. But we got some blueberries, strawberries, vegan feta cheese, vegan cheddar cheese, grapes, two red bell peppers, cilantro, taters, two things of vegetable broth, avocados that are not ripe yet, grape tomatoes, canned tomatoes, a lemon, two avocados that were supposed to be ripe, but look at those. My non-ripe avocados look riper than this. Red onion, unripe bananas, tortilla wraps, cliff bars, orzo, pasta, tortilla strips, green chilies, soy rizo, and chicken tenders. Okay, so my hair is all oiled up and I have my mat, my coconut water, and a little rag because it's hot yoga and yeah, I like to wipe, wipe my face off. So that your, even if your chronic diseases, they still have to be managed, okay? So um, how much are you averaging per day? Hey guys, I'm back from the theater. Uh, we watched Beetlejuice and I seriously got, have never gotten ready so fast. After that meeting was over, I hurried and showered, washed my hair, all of that. I left uh, my house at 6.09 and the movie was starting at 6.10. So yeah, I was, we weren't that late though because, you know, the commercials and whatever and we had bought our tickets beforehand. But I wanted John here to show me <laughs> Just a little outfit of the night, nothing special. So I just wanted to show my outfit, okay? It is literally a t-shirt and jeans and shoes, but still. This is my cute little shirt. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, this is my shirt I got from H&M. I like it because it says 1995, and that was the year I was born, so gotta represent. And then, we show my pants now? I love these jeans, they're very like loose. And then, these are my first Jordans. Um, I got them in New York, and John picked them out for me. And I love them. And so now, 
<laughs> I'm gonna do, oh wow, the lighting is way better this way. Okay, now I wanna do a little unboxing because I got this in the mail today. Oh yeah, um, Josh just asked me how the movie was and that reminds me I was gonna tell you guys that the movie I would give a solid like seven out of 10. Um, I liked it, it was cute or whatever, but I just feel like the plot, there was so many like little plots that weren't very complex. They were all very easily solved. So it just felt like a little bit surface level. Um, I can't really give obviously um, examples without you know, giving spoilers. So I'm not gonna do that obviously, but if any of you have seen it, let me know what you think and if you agree or not. Okay, so like I said, I don't usually buy from like random places like this. This is my first time ever buying from some this place. Um, but every time I was looking for cute shoes for fall, they were sold out. So I had to do this. Okay. John is gonna film my reaction. They are Adidas, of course. Even though I'm wearing Nikes right now. Okay. Woo. Cute. What do you guys think? I was debating between an all brown with white or yeah, all brown with white or these. And I just decided I'm probably more likely to wear this color. I got a men's six, which usually is what I do and they fit me. But for some reason their website was telling me to get like, I think a seven and a half or something to equal a woman's eight, which I thought was weird. So let's try them on. Did you stop it? I <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Bruh. Is it still recording? Yeah. Can you see them on my feet? They fit. I kind of messed my foot up at yoga today. Well, not at yoga. It was after yoga. I think I need new slides. Yay, they fit. How cute. They're a little squeaky. What do we think? Can you see them in the light? Okay, <laughs> um, I'm hopped up, hopped up on popcorn and soda right now. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for tonight's vlog. I'm gonna go to bed. Well, actually it's only 8.30, so I'm gonna get ready, wind down for the night, probably finish my reading, last chapter I've been working on all night. Um, and be ready for clinical tomorrow, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't too long, too boring. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. Bye.